Not adjusting your insurances over time can be a big mistake in retirement. Why? Well, look, resources are finite, right? So we need to put our money where it's most likely to be needed, and that certainly applies to insurance. So for example, if we had disability insurance while we're working, but now we're retiring, well, we might need to trade what we were paying for disability insurance. Instead, get long-term care insurance, just as an example. So we need to look at the risks that we face at each stage of life, and then adjust the insurances appropriately so that we're addressing those risks the best we can because we can't, most people, can't have it all, right? We've got to allocate resources. We have to make choices. Here's a reality check. And this is from my own experience. Nobody's ever told me, you know, I regret buying that insurance. Doggone it, I wish I hadn't done that. I don't hear that. What I hear are the people that said, I coulda, I woulda, I shoulda. I shoulda bought the insurance and I didn't. Or I waited too late and then I wasn't able to qualify. And I use the long-term care insurance as an example. As you get older and when health conditions present themselves, you may not be able to get long-term care insurance and then that might be when you actually need it, right? So look at getting things as you age and as you meet different criteria. And then long-term care is just one example, okay? Your takeaway is this, consider your situation. Where are you? What are your options? What are your priorities? We need to balance things out. You know, we certainly don't want to be insurance poor. Um, I don't want to put ourselves in a position of not having enough cash. We don't want to solve one problem really, really, really well and then not have the resources for other things. So it's all about mitigating risk or mitigating a threat that can affect you, but we don't necessarily need to go all in on addressing one thing. We have to make sure we've got a balance of the risks that we address. And now with that said, I do like to err on the side of more cash and a little more insurance just to be sure that, that we don't find ourselves in a pickle, okay? so. Watch out for being in a pickle and you'll plan stronger. If you would like more information about the topics and our guests featured in this series, please visit our website at planstrongertv.com. Also, if you have a question you would like David to answer, please send it to questions at planstrongertv.com.